Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, and I finished my back to school shopping today with my kids. Actually, I'm kind of like, I hate shopping. So it's kind of like, all right, we're gonna go. You're gonna be good. And we are gonna get this done. And if you're not good and we have to leave early, I will pick out your clothes and you're gonna wear what I give you. So if you want any input on your wardrobe whatsoever, you will behave and you will make this a pleasant experience for mommy, all right? So that's, that's like the, uh, that's the riot act I give my kids before we go back to school shopping. Oh my gosh, they did great. I have a boy, he can go pick out shirts. This okay, mom, okay, into the basket, doesn't need to try it on, it's beautiful. The girls, tried everything on and I said, you're gonna wear it. I'm not gonna buy it unless you're gonna wear it. If you're gonna wear it, I will buy it. If I do buy it, you are going to wear it. So you, every piece of clothing that I bought, I'm like, you will wear this. I'm just on tangent today. <laughs> But you know what? Since that is done, I just feel so good because that means I can relax and get some crafting done, work on my projects and not feel like, oh my gosh, I still have back to school shopping to do. But it's done. I'm so glad. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna make a card today, and uh, we're gonna make this card here, do you see? We've got a cat in a cup. That's pretty cute, isn't it? Cat in a cup? Oh, love it. Um, wearing a hat, a cat and a hat and a cup. Sounds very Dr. Susie. Uh, we're gonna use our roll tap, or the homemade roll tap, if you made one the other day when I showed you how. We're using cute stamps from um, Lost Coast. They have some adorable stuff, and this is the party hat cat set. <laughs> Party hat cat. I know I'm gonna mess up saying that at least once during the video. And we're gonna use some stencils. I know you have these in your stash. Everyone does. Sometimes you get them free or they're at the dollar store or the kids have them in their supplies and you have them. We're also gonna use one of these moldy oldies. I love the moldy oldies. We're just a, it's a shape stencil. Whoop de doo. And the reason I actually use this is because this is a one layer card. And I don't often do one layer cards because I always get some schmutz on it and then I have to stick an embellishment there because, you know, I've stuck my inky finger. That's why there's the star, folks. Inky fingerprint right there. There we go. Look at that. I've been gabbing for two minutes and I get you're probably ready to make a card already, aren't you? Well, I think we should just get to it, shall we? All right, here come my mad editing skills and we're gonna go through the tape. All right, what I've done here is I have arranged my ink pads in rainbow order and I've got my roll taps handy. And if you don't have roll taps, you could stick a um, foam bead or a um, little foam round bath block or foam marshmallow or whatever on a skewer. You can use that for a roll top, that'll work as well. Um, or you could use like a, a shadow stamp, but just a, like a plain um, rectangular shadow stamp that will work too. We're just gonna do a really fun technique. Um, so what you need is a scrap of paper or cardstock and you want some painter's tape and we're gonna make a torn edge mask so we look like we have actually have a torn piece of paper here. We're so sneaky, we're awful tricky. So what we're gonna do here is just rip off a piece of painter's tape uh, at least as wide as your card, maybe a little bit wider. And then we're gonna tear it so we have a rough edge. There we go. I have to tear that a little bit more. Oh, my kids are probably pooped out. I took them shopping. <laughs> They're exhausted. They're upstairs watching a watching TV and putting away their new back to school stuff. And one's yelling for me, so hold on a minute. Sorry about that. Apparently, well, it wasn't very important. There's my dog. Hold on one more moment. Jeez Louise. Again, sorry about that. My life is just like a regular old blooper reel. So what I have here is a card. It's a pre-folded five by seven card. I haven't folded it yet because it's gonna be easier to use open like this. And I'm laying it on my table and I am going to set this cardstock where I've stuck the masking tape um, right down here, giving me about, um, I would say about an inch and a half of uh, paper here. Cause I wanna have this nice, I wanna look like ribbon, rainbow ribbon kind of. Um, again here, just to orient you what we have there. And I'm going to use my roll taps. So, you know, if you don't have a roll tap, use use what you have. Just be creative. Cool thing about this is I find if I ink it up once, I'll be able to make a few lines before it runs out. So I'm just going to go through my colors here. And just, and I don't want to have them perfectly straight. Kind of arrange my uh, roll taps in rainbow order here. So the next time I go through, I won't have to um, to ink each one of these up. This is my favorite new moldy oldie tool. <laughs> I can't believe how long it took me to actually use these. I had had some in my stash for so long, and then I got so excited about them that, um, and then I couldn't find them <laughs> anywhere. And I got everybody else excited about them, so I had to figure out a way to make them. 
There's a video on that on my blog if you missed it. I just love how it looks like kind of organza ribbon. I don't think I inked my purple one up the last time we did it. Look how quickly this goes. Isn't that fun? I don't think I did this purple one last time, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. And oh, what the heck? Let me put another red one there on the end. Bloop. There we go. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I want to have the look of kind of torn paper. So um, what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna use my little color duster and a little sage shadow ink. I really like the Stampin' Up ink pads. I have the they're not. I don't have the new colors. Um, I bought the older colors when somebody I knew was going out of um, Stampin' Up, and um, or move, she was moving. That was the thing. She was moving and she didn't. She just kept her little mini pads and didn't want to deal with bringing the big ones around. But I really liked having this because. Um, I'm just going to clean my duster off on a scrap. Um, because it's a great, they're, they're great inks. You can refill them. And I like how they're a little bit larger than a standard pad, but that's just me. Any dye based ink will be fine, but that's my preference. I, I enjoy them and I got a good deal on them. So, and I'm just going to try to tap that down without getting my fingers too inky. Now I moved this up a little bit because I want to have that kind of torn edge look, you know, like how you get that duckel edge on the side of a paper. When you tear it, I like the way that looks. So I'm just kind of going through and need some more ink on there. This is the sage cut. You can use gray. You could use, um, I wouldn't use black. It's probably a little dark. You could probably use like a pale blue. Whatever you have that's kind of close to a, to a gray color will look nice. So when I remove this, you'll be able to see how it kind of looks like a torn edge. Can you see that all right? I think you can. So you can see that kind of little, little border there. That's kind of like a, an edge. Um, all right, so I'm gonna grab a baby wipe and I'm gonna wipe off the extra ink. My baby wipes are over here. So I probably should have paused it, but look at that, I'm a quick crafty ninja and I, here I am back again. Ooh la la. There we go. I am telling you, I just feel golden because I got my back to school shopping done. Dry, dry, dry. I'm gonna have some schmutz on the back because I can't wait for that to dry. All right, so now I am folding my card in half and look at me not getting any crud on there and I'm going to ink up my party cat hats party cat hats party cat hats stay from lost coast designs hey maybe I could do the jingle <laughs> I probably shouldn't quit my day job I used to write radio commercials though but I didn't sing in them not that often anyway all right so I tilt it to the uh to the light make sure I got it good and inky and we're going to stamp this bad boy down right here. I can't get enough rainbows. They're so happy. I love seeing all those colors. I like the riot of color. And I mention it every time I stamp, but just in case you're new to the Lindsay crafting world, hold your stamp down for a few moments and let the ink transfer from the rubber to the paper. Become one with the stamp, become one with the paper. Isn't that exciting? No, isn't that mellow? Isn't that peaceful? I feel like Bob Ross, happy little trees, happy little cats and martini glasses. All right, and there we go. It's looking pretty good. Um, so a couple different ways we can color this. I could take ink directly from the ink pads with a blender pen. I know it sounds like a commercial for Stampin' Up, but I do like their blender pens. They just, they don't fray like the La Plume ones do. I've really found that that's my favorite uh, brand of the blending pens out there. But you know, you could use a uh, damp brush a blending pen has like a little bit of glycerin in it or something that helps it slide across the paper instead of pill up. Or you can use some markers. You can use a combination of the two. And I'm actually going to use a combination of the two here. And uh, this is how I colored it the last time. I think I might do a little differently this time. I think I might have a yellow cat instead of a pink one, for instance. And I think I might have a red hat. So let's just uh, let's just see what, what strikes our fancy, shall we? Um, so another little tip here. Um, it can be, this is just plain cheap paper. These are those, um, stacks I've mentioned before from, um, from AC Moore. They go on sale all the time and they are just, uh, like packs of 50 cards and envelopes and they go on sale for like five bucks of the five by seven size or 250 for the, for the smaller size. And um, they're very convenient, and I often use them for like my Christmas card back, you know, for the backings of my Christmas cards. And um, I always just have them on hand because I like, I like the convenience. They're not the best quality, but I like the convenience. So this, if I just went straight onto the paper with my blending pen, it's not really going to blend. So what I did was I just put my shadows in, and now I'm going to use my blending pen. I'm going to pick up that ink I just squirted on my, I just uh, 
drew on my mat and I can create a little bit more of a subtle blend. You know what? I think I'm going to let that uh, ink dry a little bit because I think I am smudging my black um, waterproof ink, but it's not waterproof till it sits for a bit. So I think that I'll put a little bit more in there and then I'm just going to let it, let it sit. But we got other stuff we can do while we're waiting for that, so don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy, Mom. All right. I'm in such a good mood. I can't believe I got my back to school shopping done. Well, look at me just damaging the tip of that marker. Don't do that, folks. What not to do? Yeah, we're going to put this away for a second. I'm going to show you something else. It's equally groovy. Now, hey, look at that. See, I knew I would smear some ink somewhere on this card and have to uh, cover it up somehow. That's the beauty of one layer cards. So what we have here is our stencil. And um, I'm going to continue on the rainbow theme. And I am going to just scribble inside the stencil. But I'm going to use the felt tip ends, the fine tip ends of my pen. See how I smudged blue? I'm going to color my blue right there. I'm awfully sneaky. I'm awfully clever. Clever cleaver. And I might not get all the rainbow colors in there, but I'll get... A fair amount. This is my my favorite. These uh, water-based markers by Memento. I really like them. And they're they're quite affordable. You get a four pack for ten dollars regular price, but I've seen them at the stamp show for six. I've I've bought them at Joanne's on sale for five a package. So you know I like that they're affordable and they work really well. And the uh, hard plastic nibs hold up really well on those. I like the Stampin' Up! ones too. Um, this is the only one I have, the Stampin' Up! ones, and it's quite worn out because, you know, it's, I think it's because it's the only one I have. Um, but there we go. We have our little star there. And we're going to use the letter stencil to do the word party. Of course, you can do any word you want. Um, I didn't have a stamp for what I wanted for this card, so I figured, well, why don't I just play with these, uh, these cheapo stencils? So I'm going to make sure that I have it going the right way. And I'm going to go in rainbow order. Starting with P, and what I'm going to do is make sure I have the fine tip there. Hopefully I don't smudge anything else on this poor card. Um, I'm going to outline it. This is riveting, riveting footage here. And scribble. It was kind of a, it's kind of a trend. I've seen a lot of fonts lately that have that scribbly um, look to them. We're going to patty. We're going to patty hattie with this card here. Ain't that right, dear? I'm from Maine, in case you can't tell. <laughs> Wicked good stuff. Wicked. Wicked good stuff, dear. If I talked in a full-on Maine accent, no one except people from Maine would be able to understand me. Sometimes I can't understand other people from Maine. That's how, uh, that's how thick the accents can get. P-A-R-T-Y. There we go. Um, and I don't think you can go wrong with a rainbow. Uh, theme with a rainbow color scheme. It's like the uh, it's perfect for me because I can never decide and I like all colors <laughs> Just scribble on in there. I Think it's fun. I like this type of technique. It's so Easy breezy P-A-R-T Well, I can spell honestly. I can spell party anyway. <laughs> I can't spell everything, but I can spell party Yeah, this is exciting, isn't it? What are we at now? We are at 13 minutes and 46 seconds. 13 minutes of life, you're never, never getting back, folks. <laughs> and blue for why. Why? Because I like you. I'm telling you, man, get your back to school shopping done early. You just, you just feel footloose and fancy free after that, folks. Went to Target. I like Target. You know, they have the policy where, like, if things go on sale, you can bring your receipt back and they'll give you the difference. So, you know, I didn't even stress about things being on sale or not. It's like, let's just get it done. Oh, let's see. Now, I want to have an exclamation park, but there, point, but there isn't, an, ex, there isn't a, an exclamation point here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a letter I and I'm going to use that little punch out thing there to make my exclamation point. And I also don't know what I did with my purple marker, so let me go grab one across the room using my crafty ninja skills. Hopefully I can buy the purple. There we go. This one looks pretty purpley. If it's not perfect, I'm not going to worry about it. No room for worrying in your crafting. Yeah, 
All right, there we go, Polly. All right, now we can do a little more coloring here. We're gonna have, oh, I actually think I want an orange cat. So let's scribble up some orange there, and then we'll go in and throw some of the shadows in there. See, you know, don't worry about coloring. Have fun with it. It's an orange cat in a blue martini glass. People are not looking for, you know, realism here. You know, that ship has sailed long ago. This is not realistic. <laughs> so don't worry about it, just have some fun. You know, that's what it's all about. That's what that's what crafting is about. It's about having fun, about enjoying the process. To clean these uh, markers, by the way, I've got a little piece of scrap paper up here. Just scribble it on some scrap paper. That's all you gotta do. Um, ain't no big thing. Can't have big things in summertime crafting. It's gotta be easy breezy. I know, I'm sticking my hand. Notice that, don't do that. Make your little scribble of color somewhere you're not gonna stick your hand in it. I'm working upside down and I'm making an orange cat. Let's come to this, folks. And you gotta work quickly when you're using regular paper because it's not gonna blend very well. And um, you just gotta go with it. You just gotta, is my head in the way? I hope not. Um, you just gotta color it and have fun with it. I think I like the pink cat better. The pink cat was definitely way more believable than the orange cat. And do the ears. Yeah, this is not a coloring technique video, by the way. This is just kind of a funsy. This is just for funsies. Scribble off to clean. A little bit of pink in the ears. Whoops, I keep wanting to put the wrong cap on. And hmm, maybe a green hat? No, eh, why not? Or red, I don't know. Let's try green, shall we? I don't know, I really like red though. Oh my gosh, decisions, decisions, I'm going with red. I like red, it's one of my favorite colors. You know, with all the other ones. I don't want it bright, so I'm just gonna go right ahead and color it bright. See what I mean about the, the tips wearing down on these, but I really, this is the only one I've had, I had it for years, I haven't even re-inked it. Um, it's nice and juicy, but the, the tips have frayed a little bit, but I think it's just because it was one of my favorites and I used it over and over again. And I think I'll put some little yellow stars coming off the hat. But I mean, really folks, this is all there is to it. Um, I've made more little um, smudgy marks on my card, I can see, because I keep dragging my hand through my ink puddles. So I might need to be doing a little bit more embellishing there. <laughs> Let's see, do I have another star on this? Oh, I hope so. Oh boy, I don't see any more stars. Maybe I could put another, uh, let's do another one here. So, you know, mistakes are just opportunities for embellishments. And um, I believe that whether you're doing a one layer card <laughs> or something a little more fancy, you know, gluing a button is an awful easy way to fix a card that would otherwise be tossed in the trash. This, uh, this marker is just about headed, I think. I gotta re-ink that, the tip. The tips go before the brush sides do, I think. Yellow. And don't be afraid to experiment. It's a one layer card. It's gonna be cheap to mail. Um, nobody's gonna notice if you made a mistake, really, unless you spelled their name wrong or you spelled a word wrong. Nobody's gonna care. You just gotta have fun with it. Purple on there. And you can't go wrong with the rainbow color scheme. You just can't. And now I feel like I need a third of something because I've got two stars there. I feel like I need something else. I wish I had a different size star, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta make do with what you have because you can't go running off to the store every time. You need something, you can't let that stifle your creativity. Don't be stifled, don't be stifled. So let me do this really quick because I think my camera's gonna shut off. It's almost at 20 minutes. Look at that. Yes. I guess. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I finish this in 30 seconds? I think I can. These stamps are by Lost Coast Designs. They are fabulous. Do check them out. Um, and I'm finishing this as quickly as I can, but in case this shuts off before I get to it, I want to thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss another video. Yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. My card is done. There you go. Woohoo! 20 minutes and I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.